let me guide you on how you can create educational videos like this one. Hello kids, today we're going to learn about some amazing vegetables. Vegetables are super healthy and help us grow strong and stay healthy. Let's start with our vegetable adventure. 1. Carrot Carrots are orange and crunchy. They help keep our eyes strong and healthy because they have lots of vitamin A too. 4. Cucumber Cucumbers are cool and refreshing. They are mostly water, which keeps us hydrated and feeling fresh. So the first thing that you need to do is to come to ChatGPT. So once you're on ChatGPT, you can ask it this prompt that says, I want to create an educational YouTube video for kids on vegetables. Please give me a list of the 100 most common vegetables. From there, you can click on enter. Okay, this is amazing. So ChatGPT will go ahead and give you a list of different vegetables. So what you want to do from there is you want to give it this other prompt. Based on the above names of vegetables, make the teacher introduce each vegetable to the kids and explain its importance in simple words. From there, you click on enter again. So this is what the teacher will say. Hello, kids. This is the introduction of the topic. And we have the first vegetable here. We have the second vegetable. We have the third vegetable up to the hundred vegetable. So from here, what you want to do is you want to come to Canva. And once you're on Canva, come to where it says create a design and just click on where it says a flashcard. And once the blank canvas opens up, all you want to do is come to element. Once you're on element, go back to ChatGPT, check for the first vegetable. So we have a carrot, just copy the word carrot and come back to Canva and paste the word carrot in the search bar there. And I'll click on enter and I'll come to where it says graphics. From here, I'll select the type of carrot that I want to use in my video. So in this tutorial, we'll select this one and we'll place this one here on top like that and we'll increase the size up to that much. From there, while we are still in elements, we'll search for cartoon face. So I'll choose a face that pleases my sight, something that is very smiley and very appealing. So I'll select this one and I'll reduce the size up to that much and I'll place my face on top like that. So while we are still in elements, the next thing that I'll do is I'll search for cartoon arms. And from there, select an arm that pleases me. There are a lot of arms, so take your time in choosing. So I'll go for the first one like that. And I'll place this arm here. What I'll simply do is I'll Ctrl D to duplicate it. And I'll get the second one. I'll place it here. Then I'll flip the second arm like that. Then what I'll simply do is I'll resize them. And once I'm done resizing them, what I'll simply do is I'll click on option and I'll send them to the back like that. So select the second one. I'll go to layers and I'll, I'll send them to the back like that. Perfect. Then the next thing that I'll do is I'll go back to elements and this time around I'll search for cartoon legs. So I'll select this one plus this one here. When you observe carefully, they look to be in the opposite of each other. So what I'll simply do is while the legs are still selected, I'll come to where it says edit image and I'll come to this part which says crop and I'll crop my first leg like that. This is perfect. And what I'll simply do is I'll place my first leg here. Good. Again, I'll still select this one and I'll crop the second one so that I can have this leg this side. I'll place the second leg there. And then what I simply have to do is I'll right click and I'll come to layers and I'll send this leg to the back. And I'll also send this other leg to the back like that. From there, what I simply have to do is I'll increase the size of my carrot up to that much. And I'll place the legs nicely so that they fit and well placed together. Okay, so this is amazing. So from here, what I simply have to do is I will highlight everything and I'll group them like that so that I can play and move them at once together like that. So this is perfect. And once that is done, what I simply have to do is I'll change the color of my hands from, from white to orange. So I'll just click on the white color like that. I'll select this color orange. I'll also change the color of this other hand and also the feet. I'll select them to be orange like that. This is perfect. So once everything is done and complete, what I simply have to do is I'll command D to duplicate my animation. From there, I'll come to this page, which says add page and we'll have a second page like that. So what I have to do from there is I'll drag and drop this second character here on the second page like that. Very perfect. From there, we'll go back to ChatGPT. We'll select the second vegetable, which is a broccoli. We'll come back to Canva and we'll paste the word broccoli there and we'll click on enter. We'll come to graphics once more. 
and to select a broccoli that pleases our eyes. I'll select this one then from there what i simply have to do is we're not going to start from uh, the scratch but we'll select our image and we'll ungroup it like that and once it's ungrouped i'll select the carrot and i will delete only the carrot and i'll drag my broccoli there make it straight like that and i'll increase the size up to that much and from there i'll come to layers and i'll send it to the back like that perfect from there what i simply have to do is to send my arms to the back and i'll also send my legs to the back perfect from there what i simply have to do is i'll resize my legs up to that much so that they fit with the broccoli and from there i'll place my arms here once that is done what i simply have to do is i'll change the color of my hands to something greenish so applies with my legs Okay, so this is perfect. If you're enjoying this video so far, give it a thumbs up. It'll really mean a lot for us. So the next thing that I need to do from there is come to where it says add page. And our next page will be added like that. From there, I'll highlight everything and I'll group everything like that. So that whenever I move something, they all move at once together. Then I'll command D to duplicate. Then I will drag and drop my image here on the next page like that. So this is excellent. From there, what I simply have to do is I'll go back to ChatGPT and we'll copy the next vegetable on the list. Then we'll come back to Canva and we'll paste it into elements and we'll search for that vegetable and we'll keep on giving it the eyes, the arms and the legs until we are done with all the list of the vegetables that we have. So once you're done creating your designs, all you have to do is come to share and download them as PNG file. When you download them together like that, they will come in a zipped folder like this one. All you have to do is just extract it and you get all your images like that. So once that is done, what you have to do is come to this site called Animated Drawing. It's a site that you can use completely for free. All you have to do is come to where it says Upload Photo. Select our first photo like that. You click on Open. And from there, what we simply have to do is we'll click on this button which says Next. Once it's done analyzing our image, what we simply have to do is we need to make sure that our entire image is in this box. So if it's not in the box, you can just increase the size like that. And once that is done, what you have to do is click on where it says next and it will highlight the character like that. So make sure that your entire character is highlighted like that. If it's not highlighted, you can use this pen to which is here. Or if there is an area where it has been highlighted, where it's not supposed to be highlighted, you can use uh, this eraser tool, which is here. From there, what I'll simply do is I'll click on next and it will take us to this mark the character's joints. So make sure that all the joints are well marked together. If it's on the part where it's not a joint, what you simply have to do is you can drag the joints like that and make sure that you place them properly to where they're supposed to be. When you're happy with everything, what you simply have to do is click on this button, which says next. Okay, look at our character like that. So this is perfect. So there are other animations that we have here on our left. We have the dance animation, the funny, the jumping and the walking animation. So for example, we just want our character to be walking. We can click on this walk animation. And from there, we can select any of these uh, animation styles. So let's say we select this one, which is the walking animation. And our character will be walking like that. This is perfect. Amazing. Though it's not giving you that perfect animation that you want but this is something that we can work with in our project so this is the reason why we had cropped our legs because though they're not that perfect but they're working in quite fine when you look at the second leg it's not that perfect from there to download this video what you simply have to do is come to this bar here just increase the size of your video like that and from here what you simply have to do is click on these uh, three dots like that and click on this download button and your video will be downloaded so just click on escape go back to our previous page so from there what we simply have to do is we'll come to where it says a start over and we'll upload our second image select the broccoli like that and we'll click on next and we'll make sure that our character is in this box so the next thing that you must take note is when you're creating this type of characters make sure that all of them are on the white background if you try these other colors it gives you something that will stress you a lot so click on next okay so once that is done it will highlight our character like that from there what i simply have to do is i'll click on next and these are the characters joints mark that we need to place if we feel that they have been misplaced. So once you're happy with everything, what you have to do is come to where it says next and our broccoli will be jumping on the screen like that. This is amazing. If you're enjoying this video so far, give it a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it.
So what you have to do is pick any of these animation style that are here and give it the one that you feel is necessary or needed for your project. From there, all you have to do is click on this button here and you can click on these three dots like that and you can download your video like that. So we're going to repeat this process for all our images until we are done with everything. So once you are done generating your characters, the next thing that you need to do is to generate an audio. So we'll go back to ChatGPT and from ChatGPT, we're going to copy the first introduction of our lesson that we've had. And the tool that we're going to use to generate an audio is called Eleven Labs. If you do not have an account, sign up. It's completely for free. From there, just come to where it says a speech. So once you're on speech, what we're going to do is we're going to paste in our introduction like that. And from there, we'll come to this button here and we'll choose our voice over artist. The little voices that you can choose, pick the one that satisfies your need. So select this one. And from there, I'll come to where it says generate speech. And there, what I simply have to do is I'll click on download. And from there, I'll go back to ChatGPT. Now I'll copy the first lesson on the first vegetable, which is a carrot like that. I'll delete this one. I'll paste it there and I'll copy the second vegetable and I'll paste it there. I suggest that you copy a few texts at a time and like generating everything at once. Sometimes you may get a distorted sound from these AI tools. So I've only copied up to five vegetables. From there, what I simply have to do is I'll come to where it says uh, generate and I'll generate my speech like that. And once I'm happy with the way it sounds, I'll just download it into my PC like that. And once you're done generating your audio from there now, it's time to create our video. So we're going to use uh, Canva. And once we're on Canva, just come to create a design and select video like that. From there, what we need is to design a background. So we can simply come to elements and we can search for any background that we feel is needed for our video. So just search for a forest background. From there, I'll just come to graphics and I'll scroll down until I find something that pleases my eyes. So select this one like that. And from there, I'll just increase the size up to that much. You're not limited to as how many backgrounds you need for one video. You can have as many background as you pleases. So I'll just select one background like that. And from there, what I have to do is I'll go to a folder where we've downloaded everything and we'll upload everything into Canva like that. And once our audio is uploaded like that, there is one more thing that I really need to add to this video, which is very, very important. And that is a character who will play the role of a teacher. So to do that, we can just come to Adobe Express. It's a free site that you can use. Just search for Adobe Express Animate from Audio and click on the first link that shows up. And from there, we'll click on Start Now. From here, what we simply have to do is we'll pick a character that will represent a teacher. Our voice is female, so we need a female character. I'll select this character. From there, I'll, I'll select the background color to be white. I'll leave the size of the aspect ratio just like that. From there, what I simply have to do is I'll click on Browse. I'll select my first audio like that, and I'll leave it to Process. And once it's done, all I'll do is I'll click on Download, and it will be downloaded into our PC. We'll do the same thing with our second audio. From there, what I simply have to do is I'll drag the files of my teacher like that. Okay, so this is amazing. What I'll simply do from here is I'll select the first one. Hello kids, today we're going to learn about something. And I'll place my teacher here. From there, what I simply have to do is I'll come to where it says edit video. You can use any editing software to remove this white background. From there, I'll come to where it says background remover. And in a few seconds, it will finish processing our video and removing the background. So this is perfect. Now that our white background is removed, what I simply have to do is I'll place my teacher here at the corner like that. This is where I would love her to be talking from. So this first page is for the introductory part. So now for the second page, which mentions the names of vegetables and their importance, what I'll simply do is I'll, I'll click on this button which says add page. Then I will duplicate this background image like that and I'll place it here. So here is our background image. And from here, what I simply have to do is I'll click on this second audio file and I'll place it here. From here, what I simply have to do is, again, I'll remove the white background by coming to edit video and background remover like that. Again, I'll place my teacher here. Okay, so this is perfect. Once everything is done, it's now time to start bringing in our characters. So the first character is a carrot. What I'll simply do is, I'll bring in a carrot who is walking from the ones that we had generated using animated drawing. So select our carrot like that. And the next thing that we'll do is, we'll come to edit again and we'll come to background removal so that we can remove this white background on our carrot so that we can only have it here on the screen. Okay, so this is perfect. Let me place my video here and I'll increase the size of my video up to that much. And I'll play to see the way it looks. 
Okay, so our carrots seem to be walking in the air. So to do that, we're just going to place our carrot here on the land like that. I will resize the video of a carrot up to that much so that it can only play around this area. Okay, so here where it introduces the broccoli, I'm going to split the page by right clicking and coming to where it says I split the page like that. So what I'll simply have to do is from this page, I'm going to delete this carrot like that and I'll bring in a broccoli who is walking as well. And from there, we'll come to edit again and we'll click on background remover. So we'll place the video of our broccoli walking. We'll start it from there, increase its size a bit like that. Then we'll place it there and we'll play to see how it looks. Broccoli looks like little green trees. It's full of vitamins that help keep our bodies strong and our brains smart. Three. Okay, so here where it says at three, I'm going to split the page again like that. Then on this other page, we're going to delete the, in the video of a broccoli like that. Then we're going to bring in the next character. And our next character is a tomato. So we'll place a tomato here. Again, we're going to remove the background and we'll keep on repeating this seven process over and over until we are done with the entire video. Not only that, we can also bring in two or more animations to the scene so that not only one is shown, but a number of them doing quite a number of activities at once. And once you're done placing all your animations where they're supposed to be, the next thing that we're supposed to do is to add in some transitions between two pages. For example, we can start from the first part. So we can hover our mouse between these two pages and we can click on this button which says add transitions. There are these are transitions that have just popped up. We can select any of these. So I'll go for this one and we can hover our mouse to the second page. Again, we can add in transitions that like that throughout our entire video. Not only that, we can also add in some text effects to our screen so that it grabs that attention to the viewer. And the last thing that I would love us to add to our video is a music sound. So while we're still in elements, we can search for cartoon music and we can scroll our arrow like that until we find where it says audio. And from there, we can play around these audio sounds. Once you find your background music, just drag it on the timeline and it'll be placed like that. So the next thing that I would love you to do is just reduce the background music by clicking on your sound and coming to this speaker icon. We don't want our sound to overlap our audio. So leave it like that from there. We'll play to see how everything looks. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel because there is more value that awaits you. Let me show you how the final product looks. Hello kids. Today we're going to learn about some amazing vegetables. Vegetables are super healthy and help us grow strong and stay healthy. Let's start with our vegetable adventure. One, carrot. Carrots are orange and crunchy. They help keep our eyes strong and healthy because they have lots of vitamin A too. Broccoli looks like little green trees. It's full of vitamins that help keep our bodies strong and our brains smart. Three, tomato. Tomatoes are juicy and red. They are rich in vitamin C, which helps us fight colds and stay healthy. Four, cucumber. Cucumbers are cool and refreshing. They are mostly water, which keeps us hydrated and feeling fresh. Five, 